Hi guys, my name is Anna and welcome to my channel Deutsch Up. In this video I want to talk with you about 10 different idioms or phrases which you can use by writing your exam. So let's begin! The first one phrase you can literally often hear in different series or movies and it sounds like God behüte me, which means like God save me. For example, God save me from this stupid girl. The second idiom will be very useful if you are speechless and want to tell about this. And it sounds like die Wörter bleiben mir in der Kühle stecken which can be translated like the words got stuck into my throat. Another idiom sounds like die Zähne zusammenbeißen, which means to clench your teeth. You can use this phrase to tell somebody that it's time to find some energy and finish the task. For example, ich muss die Zähne zusammenbeißen und mich auf diese Prüfung vorbereiten. Another one idiom is a bit funny and literally means to be very angry. It sounds like vor Wut wie ein Teekessel dampfen, to steam with anger like a tea kettle. Another idiom can be very risky and it sounds like etwas auf Spiel setzen, to put something on the line. Other ways mit etwas zu riskieren. Another phrase is definitely not for the test, it's more like umgangssprachlich, so we will be able to know the meaning of it. Sich in die Scheiße reiten, which means to get into trouble. Another idiom is also very cool, Finger im Spiel haben. That means that there is somebody who involved somehow in the situation. You can also use this phrase when you want to say that somebody is manipulating somebody. For example, the puppet master is manipulating his puppets. For example, he is doing something, he is moving his hands, and with those actions he is making other people also to move. Another phrase can be synonymic to the one we said already before, die Zähne zusammenbeißen, which means to make yourself to do something. And this one sounds like Augen zu und durch. Literally, it can be translated like close your eyes and get through this. So don't complain and just do it. Another phrase you can also hear very often in your everyday life and it sounds like Hunde müde sein, which means that you are literally so tired as a dog. It's the highest way of description how tired you are. And the last but not least, auf dem Vormarsch sein. You may already heard this one from the previous videos about Güterzertifikate bei 1 Schreiben. I was using this idiom in one of those tasks and today I want to explain you what does it mean. Auf dem Vormarsch sein bedeutet auch aktuell zu sein populär zu sein oder sehr beliebt zu sein. So it's something that nowadays people are using very often, something which currently is very popular. You can use this idiom when you are talking, for example, about fashion or something very old which are getting popular nowadays again. So long story short, that was everything for today. I hope this video was nice and informative for you. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. I will answer you as soon as possible. I wish you to have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye!